Shalom. It's the brother Rock back with another lesson through the Spirit. Lord willing, this lesson be edified to an elect member too. I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakodash. Double honors to my elders and apostles at Great Millstone. Peace, safety, much love, and blessing to the Akim across the four corners of the earth that are pushing out this truth and truth and sincerity and putting their life on the line to do so. To you, brothers, I want to say Shalom. All right, man, you know, back at it through the spirit with another lesson. And uh, <laughs> I'm going to entitle this lesson, man, a, a, the, Christian uh, the Christian church takes another L, okay? Because every time you turn around, man, uh, there's some bullshit or some folly going on with these, these so-called Christians in the church, okay? And this, this article right here is just the latest uh, madness uh, that's circulating in the Christian community. Okay, it's about uh, uh, Pastor Wilson, you know, out of Texas. You know, there was a viral video that uh, that went viral with him, uh, you know, doing some things on camera that his congregation wouldn't necessarily uh, want to see him do or, or see him in that light by uh, him being a so-called pastor or a minister or, the, or a man of the Lord. Okay. Um, and allegedly the video he was in uh, uh, doing these acts with in the video wasn't his, uh, his wife, you know. And according to the Christian doctrine, any woman outside of the woman you say I do and put a ring on it is considered uh, adultery, all right? Which the scriptures teach you otherwise, but that's another topic for another lesson. But basically, I want to go into, man, a, how the Christian church is taking L upon L because the Spirit of the Lord is not dealing with the Christian church or the Christian pastors or, or the, uh, the, the pork chop in members inside of the congregation, okay? So um, this article is from heavy.com. It says, Pastor David Wilson, family member, says they don't believe if viral video is real. <laughs> Man, the video is real, man. Hey, pull that, pull that, 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 that malt out your eye, man. <laughs> the, the, the man that you guys look to every Sunday to lead you all, hey, man, that was him, okay? That was him. It says, um, this was posted October 17, 2019. It says, Pastor David Wilson of Texarkana, Texarkana, Texas, has been a pastor for nearly 40 years. On October 16th, a viral video uh, purporting to show the minister performing a sex act on a woman was spread on social media. Speaking exclusively to Heavy, a family member says they don't know if the video is real. The family member said that whoever was spreading the video was trying to become famous off of off of Pastor David Wilson's name, okay? Now, why would somebody want to become famous off a pastor from an unknown fucking city in Texas, uh, uh, Texas name, all right? That was him, and that's another thing, you know, uh, these Christians, man, they, they, they don't believe that the man standing up there in the comfort of a, a building, in the pool pit, giving them uh, uh, motivational speeches every Sunday could could do such a thing, all right. But but he but he can, all right, because at the end of the day he's still mortal man and he deals with the everyday things that men uh, uh, go through, okay. So yeah, so like you, but hey, hey, this is just like I said, man, another uh, damn uh, uh, fucking circus. A freak show uh, that's going on inside the Christian community. Uh, Pastor David Wilson says he is a motivator who loves to see lives transformed to the glory of God. All right. Now he's a motivator, and that's all—a motivational speaker. You know, the congregation come in and get them uh, an emotional high for the Sunday, because the scriptures also tell you. That folly is set in great dignity and the rich sit in low places. Okay. The hooping and hollering and jumping around and 
and, and, and sweating and singing songs. That's the, that's esteemed above the real truth. All right, the, the the men of the Lord that are out here putting their life on the line to wake up the nation of Israel week in week out on the highways and byways that are, are, are set in the Lord state are the are the are the ones that the scripture is talking about the rich the rich in spirit man sit in low places but folly is set in great dignity okay let's go ahead and um, get into the scriptures. I'm going to start in uh, the book of Jeremiah, verse 3 and 15. It says, And I will give you pastors according to mine heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. And that's not talking about this big head ass nigga, Pastor, Pastor Wilson. All right. He's a false prophet. He's a false teacher. He's just a motivational speaker. It said it in the article. You know, he said it himself. Okay, the Lord is going to give you pastors according to his knowledge. And who are the pastors according to his knowledge? We believe through faith are the elders and apostles of the great millstone. All right. And we uh, fall under their umbrella and, and, and teach the 100 percent true doctrine. Those are the pastors that are going to teach according to the knowledge uh, and wisdom of, of, of the scriptures, man. All right. Not out here uh, going viral for doing a, some, some bullshit. Okay. So if we do uh say go uh viral, you know, it's gonna be for for commend the act of righteousness, man, and not the act act of wickedness. Alright. And and you know, in the eyes of men and those that are that are not uh familiar with the scriptures and the hundred percent truth may seem that we uh may be doing because the scriptures tell you man and matthews or uh, woe to them that call evil good and good evil okay so if we go viral for doing something it's going to be in righteousness man and not in wickedness now how these people take it you know that's that's up to them because they've been uh they've been tainted and uh you know given this false sense of what the lord is all about and you know uh totally do not understand the scriptures, all right? Because they go inside the building, sit down in the comfort of a, a, a climate-controlled building, you know, hoop and holler, run around, sweat, you know, uh, commit adultery, you know, uh, pedophilia, all kind of stuff go on under under underneath the roof of the church, and they think that that's just acceptable unto the Lord. You can just ask to be forgiven. And, and and that's it, okay. This is uh the book of Acts seven and verse forty eight. It says, "How be it, the Most High dwelleth not in temples made with hands." So the Lord is not dealing with the Christian church, man. The 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 scriptures command you to go out on the highways and the byways, man. All right. It, can, it, it, it tells you to go uh, into the, the chief place of concourse. The chief place of concourse. A lot, you know, in, into the marketplace. That's where uh, the, the fruit uh, and the sheep are going to be gathered, man. Not behind some building where you can go in and can't even ask questions. Okay? You got to sit down, know your role, and shut your mouth and empty your pockets out. Okay? Because they're going to pass the goddamn collection plate around two, three times. Here it is, most of the goddamn congregation is struggling. And you got uh, the pastor out here uh, uh, eating random box, man. All right? At the, at the dollar, of the, at, the, at the expense of the congregation, man. And he probably living better than all that. And not probably, he is. All right? I know he is. Most of these pastors are because they're not uh, according to the knowledge of Yahweh Shin Yahweh man. All right? Because as I read in uh, Jeremiah the third child, it says Lord is going to give you uh, pastors according to his knowledge. And this in the Christian church is is not according to the knowledge uh, or the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And that's and, and another thing why these people flock to the Christian church and stuff like that is because, you know, they just they, 
they've been totally, like I said, the scriptures, they've been blinded to the scriptures. They go to the white man for all the answers. They, 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 it's, it's called plantation Christianity for a reason, man. Because they t took the true uh, knowledge of the Bible out and hid it from our people and gave them, you know, uh, uh, what they wanted them to be, to be uh, indoctrinated and to stay in, in a, a, a slave mindset underneath the so-called white man. I got one more precept, and then you know I'm gonna close it out. It was just <laughs> I had I, I seen the uh, the article, um, and man, it was just hilarious. Okay, and and it's been buzzing all over the internet. Uh, uh, Pastor Wilson, man, he he's a goddamn donkey of the day. He's the butt of every joke, man. This is uh. The book of Isaiah Chapter 30 Starting verse 1 It says Woe to the rebellious children that's, Woe to the rebellious children That saith The Lord That saith The Lord That take not counsel That take counsel So like it But not of me Alright Those that are not Following the ways Spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahushai, they're taking on the spirit of Esau, man, and what Esau taught them. Okay, it says, Woe to the rebellious children, saith, saith the Lord, that take counsel but not of me, and that cover with their covering but not of my spirit, that they may add sin unto sin. And that's the, the Christian church, man. That scripture right there describes the Christian church uh, in a nutshell, man. All right, so Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. Giving all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shai, Bashem, Yahweh, Kakodash, Shalom.